Well, we've made it to the assembly area now, and if you have not seen some of the other videos, please tune into those. We got a foundry, we got the finished machines. In fact, we had to run through a whole lot of people. So if you haven't seen those videos, check those out as well. I got my buddy Rick here. He's made special time for us today. Super, super grateful of a man of this caliber to spend time with us. We're humbled and honored to do that. Right now we're in the assembly area. And as you look around, you can see that it starts from raw boxes, let's say, but because of my rudimentary uh, English, Rick's English is better than mine. How about that? And it's his second language. But we start with the raw boxes, the foundation, and then it gets the sheet metal put on and we move down the line. Rick knows about this far more than I do, far better, far more articulate. So Rick, we're in the assembly area. I know it's something you're proud of because if you assemble something poorly, regardless of how you made it piece <laughs> by piece, it's not gonna go well, right? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, so throughout the process, uh, we this is of course our, our most popular machine. Uh, so we're looking for ways to uh, Increase, improve our lead time on the machines and improve the process. So what we had uh, 10 years ago, about 15 years ago, we started implementing the TPS and now we have called it the YCMPS. So it's a, it's a YCM production systems and how we can uh, continuously improve our assembly process and how can we uh, reduce the lead time also uh, be uh, standardized with your uh, process and improve your quality of assembly as well. See, that's why you're a world leader, I tell you. Let's take a slow walk because I know the audience wants to see some of the guts of the machines and the finished machines as well. What do you think makes, as, as we get into assembly of course, but what do you think makes this one your most popular machine? And also thank you for streamlining that because I know people want to get everything yesterday. That's all right. The one meter machine is always the most popular machine uh, out there, so uh, this is of course uh, our most favorite machine because of our design, uh, because of the rigidity of the machine, and also the performance machines. I do see them everywhere, yeah. I gotta be honest. Every yeah. shop I go into, I feel like there's at least one, if it's not one, they've already grown into dozens at this point. <laughs> uh, I, I see over here, it yeah. looks like to my left and, and the audience is right, looks like they're starting to put together some of the pieces yeah. of the inside of the machine. Yeah, definitely, uh, and also you can set, see all the uh, all the result that we have done for the continuous process, making them uh, they make it easier for them uh, to uh, to for assembly. Uh, for instance, the tools that we have provided, and the, well, these are actually all developed by themselves. So how do how do they uh, make how do they help themselves to make this assembly process easier? And so you can see that all these uh, fixturing designs here is all done by themselves. That's incredible, yeah. and I like. I like when someone like yourself yeah. gives the creative spirit to everyone who, I mean, these guys are engineers, right? right. They, who knows it better than they do? They're on the floor every day making right. these products, putting them together. They should be allowed that creative freedom. I like that you allow them to do that. Now, as I look around and I look at these machines, are the people sliding machine to machine or are the machines sliding down the road? Well, normally the machine is very heavy, right? We it set them heavy. down, we don't want to move them around. Um, so it stays in one place and it gets built in one place, but we have to bring a lot of parts into it. And it takes up a lot of room. Uh, so this is where we went to more of a um, uh, conveyor design where we put the machines on a conveyor. Mm -hmm. And then you can move the machines into different, different stages of the assemblies. And then you can, uh, also control the lead time, the, the, the tack time of the machine as it goes through. Have you noticed a difference in the tack time or the lead time by making these adjustments over the years to yes. make sure that your lead time is reduced? Because I know how important service and support, I've heard you give speeches, Rick, where that is the number one thing between quality, service and support. Those are the things that you found everything on here at YCM. Yeah. So have you noticed uh, some of that being able to be reduced by making some of these quality changes? Oh yeah, of course. Um, I, we also have what we call a quality uh, system, what we call uh, failure systems. That's where we find out uh, what the problem is. I and mean, all the machines will have problems, but when you find a problem, you have to find the root cause of the problem and how to fix that root cause. And so with this failure system is why we uh, collect all the data and figure out where we need to change, where we need to modify, and where we need to improve and it's a continuous process and that's why we want to give a, the, the best, uh, most, better, best quality machine to the customer. Yeah. I'm really happy you brought that up. I mean, for our audience watching right now, nobody wants to have, from anyone, no one wants to have a machine show up that they paid for and it doesn't yeah. work, right? Yeah. So the fact that you go through all of these quality checks yeah. and you're speeding up the lead time, making sure that these products are good when they arrive, 
that's what you want. These are the checks and balances that you go through. That's why you're 70 plus years, you know, in business at this point, right? And continue to grow. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's that's always been a part of our philosophy is quality, quality, quality. That's what my grandfather preached when he was to me when I was young. Uh, that's the most important thing. All right, Rick, as we bring this all to a close, and we love having these tours, I know we're gonna look at some other areas as well and some previous videos. My friends, please look at those videos. Also, it's important to understand the true history, belief, and technology of YCM and all the years that Rick and his family have put into this. So as we close this one out, yeah. and we see these engineers working diligently, understanding that you are fine-tuning the process daily and even now continuing to make sure that lead times are quicker because this is your most popular machine. When we look to the future and we continue to make things better, any messages for anyone as we close this out when we talk about just the assembly side of things to let them know we're here for you, we're making sure this process is taken care of. When your machines arrive to your facility, you can plug, it's almost a plug and play at this point, right? Pop your products in and let's go, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that's the whole, whole principle of YCMPS is to continuously improve. Uh, it's, it's an ongoing process, as I mentioned, it's, it's non-stop. So we definitely will continue to provide definitely a high quality product to our customers um, and, and it will only get better. Yeah, well, 70 years now, yeah. 70 plus years now. Yeah. Here's to another 70 plus years with your great grandchildren <laughs> on down the line. Rick, again, thank you so thank much. You. These tours are invaluable to everyone who cannot make it to Taiwan. Yeah. We invite everyone to Taiwan, of course. If you want to visit, I'm sure Rick will open his doors and show you around, right? Yep, definitely. Oh, he says he will. <laughs> we got him on camera now. But we know that most of you won't be able to, so we are honored to be here to share this story with you and bring Taiwan and YCM to your front page to your doorstep to your TV screens and we have so much more coming for you so check out those videos also.